Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AZAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our X unit with Selenium video series. And in this video, we're talking about another new library which we can use to reduce the data setup problem that we had previously with X units data setup using fact or something like that. So we are going to make use of that. So uh, if you remember, in our last video, we discussed about the Fluent Assertion, which was another uh, library which has nothing to do with XUnit. This library that we're talking about, the Auto Fixture, also has nothing to do with the XUnit itself. So if you just search for what is called as Auto Fixture, this is the library which is very, very helpful to work with setting up the data. So you can create your own data uh, for any kind of test it can be in substitute mock or fake it easy you can use it as well or you can create it for the test that we have written the x unit test uh, and it is very very simple and they have a bit of documentation quite bad documentation i could see uh, because if you go any of the pages it is still you know to do state uh, there is nothing much available here but let's see how we could able to use the auto fixture so in order to work with the auto fixture itself we need to first install the auto fixture let's go to the manage nuget package and let's search for the auto fixture and there is going to be a package for that this one so i'm going to install this auto fixture but before that since we are using the x unit we could able to potentially install this auto fixture x2 this is going to be very helpful for us which is because it's going to be a, um, a dotted standard library and it's going to hold the x unit uh, auto fixture core as well which is this one so it's installing all these things for us so that's going to be a package for the auto fixture. So how to work with auto fixture? It is quite simple and straightforward, pretty much like X unit itself. So as you know that we are using the data driven testing using some of the data that we have passed over here, password two, password three, password four, admin, admin, admin like that. But let's say if I want to work with one of the tests which has got very less test data set up itself. I mean, I'm not worried about test data, but I'm only focused on the business, which is going to be the performing the operation on the UI, not the data itself, like what type of data it is. Then I would probably not worry about setting up the data, something like these, rather just worry about how the data is coming through. So I will really tell you what I really mean about it. So let's create a new class file. Once again, not disturbing our earlier code so that we can have a reference in our github repo and i'm gonna call this as selenium with auto fixture it's a big class name though uh, but that's all right so that we can go back and refer what the code is uh, and i'm just gonna copy paste most of the code from here so that i don't really have to worry about to write all these code once again and let's call our i class fixture of the web driver fixture class and let's add the reference of x unit and the test output helper from the x unit abstraction let's create the constructor and the member data I'm just gonna get it for now okay so where is the data gonna come from then I'm going to fully remove this data from here because that's the whole purpose of this thing. And because we have removed the data, we need to change the test to be a fact because you know that if it is a fact, then you don't really have to report the data to be passed over here, which is all right. But now our test is going to complain as, hey, what about me? The like username, password, C password and email. What should I do with these things? Well, that's where the auto fixture is here to rescue for us. So auto fixture library is very, very simple library. All we're going to do is we can create our own any sort of data using the auto fixture itself, like some some random value. Uh, so you can do something like new of fixture, which is going to be coming from the auto fixture like that. And then we can do something uh, like fixture dot, oops, sorry, dot create. And there are so many different methods available like build, customization, behavior, add many. Uh, and there are something like engine, 
uh, customizations um, and eye specimen something like that uh, don't worry about it yet but I'm just gonna be worrying about this one the create we can also create an anonymous type if you really wanted to uh, but I'm going to create and then we're gonna create a string type because the username is gonna be of type string so you can do that over here so this is this way we can create an string which is of any value we don't have to worry if we are not worried about the value then we can just do something like this and about the password we can create the password uh, and this is going to be the confirm password because the confirm password and the password should be of same so we don't have to worry about having this and for the email i'm just going to be putting a string as well so i'm just going to save this uh, so for the pass, uh, so for the username, so let's call this username and password is fine. This password is all right. And the email is all right as well. So let's see what's going to happen. Basically, I'm just going to put a breakpoint there and let's try running this test from the auto fixture and we'll see what data it is going to populate right now. And I'm going to put a breakpoint here as well, just in case there you go. So there is a browser coming through and it has hit the breakpoint. Uh, now, if I just do a step over, you can see that we will have a username, which is of some Qubit kind of value. So this is like a random value it is generating. And then password and then the email. So you can see the password has some random value. Email has some random value. And these are the value is what it is going to enter at the moment. So you could see uh, what it has entered here, all these random values. Uh, and you can see over here and the test is gonna pass eventually because it doesn't worry about it but now you may have some question like what have we did that I mean you just created some random value why can't I just use some other method to do create a random value or random number or something like that why should I use this auto fixer itself what difference does it really make I mean, you can customize this as much as possible. Again, the imagination is the only limitation here uh, because you could able to create whatever type that you pass in. Because at the moment I have passed a string type. If I want to pass an integer type, I can create an integer type of uh, fixture as well. And once I make this change to integer, you can see that it's throwing me an error because it couldn't convert an integer to string, which is cool. Uh, so you can create for any type in the fixture. That is the real beauty of it. And we can also uh, make use of different types to be passed in. Maybe it can be a strongly type if you really wanted to, we can do that. For example, you can see that email is not in the right format. We can create our own format if we wanted to. So you can see there is something called as a mail address generator, which is gonna come from the auto fixture of the mail address generator. And if you go to this mail address generator, you can see once I do that, it's gonna throw me a scrolly line error. So let's go, what is this mail address generator? This is coming from what is called as an I specimen builder. And don't worry about these things, it's quite a big concept there but this mail address generator requires uh, creates a new mail address so what is this new mail address we are talking about here so this mail address is going to be calling from the system.net.mail.mail address instance so this is what it's trying to do uh, if we call this particular uh, mail address generator so we can potentially use this mail address generators uh, mail address to be used for our uh, for our operation so we can either use this mail address generator or we can just use the mail address of the system.net.mail. You can see this is the namespace which I was talking about. So we can do that. And within this, we can get the email dot address or email dot um, the display name or the host or something like that. So you can see whatever that you wanted to. So I can get the display uh, dot address. So this will get the email address specified uh, when its instance was created. So I'm just gonna take the email dot address. And now if I try uh, debugging this particular code, so probably I'm gonna hit a breakpoint here. Let's see what uh, this mail address is gonna be giving to us. All right, uh, let's do that. You can see that the email address is coming through and if I go to the email address uh, email you can see that it's giving me an address of some 
big GUID value at example.net. So it's automatically creating that for us. And there's a host of example and there's a user, something like this, uh, and it is creating things for us. So we can use this potentially because there is a host uh, of example.net. So we can, and this, is, this value is gonna keep changing if you're gonna call this email address second time, something like that. So if I just call this, uh, once again, let's see what is going to be the next address going to be. See, it's email.org this time instead of email.net. And if I call third time, let's see what is going to be the value. It's going to be email.net uh, again. So it's, it's going to keep changing randomly, uh, which is all right. Uh, and then I can potentially use the host, which is making more sense. Or you can, if you are happy with this quid at example.net because it has the email format at example.net you can use that as well uh, so this is how we can use the data like custom data uh, to be passed in over here uh, and then we can make sure that the test runs with uh, some data that we can pass in so this is one way of working with the auto fixture now next video we'll see how we can create our own uh, type and we can extend it with the auto fixture and work with it